this video we're going to be seeing if we can use OBS offline as a software switcher to present on projectors. Folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So this was posed as a question to me by J. Ashley Jr. 2. Um, it was in comment in reference to the video where I was talking about how you can actually use scripture and lyrics over your live stream using NDI and OBS. So the question that he posed, well, they posed, because again, I don't know if it's a male or a female. The way they posed it, they want to know, is there a way to do all of that, but actually present it in the sanctuary while not live streaming? So, actually, that's really simple to do, but I think since I'm here at my church, I'm actually just going to do it and just show how the whole thing works. So, here, what we use is a... ATEM switcher like this where we have all of our cameras connected to it. Now, I'm not going to be able to do the full camera set. Well, actually, now I think about it, <laughs> yes, I can. So, but I'm just going to walk through using Worship Extreme, using Pro Presenter, how to send all of that over to OBS like we did in our previous video, but then have OBS be the one that connects directly to our projector and put everything on the screen. So, Let's go ahead and get to it. And real quick, I just <laughs> you're going to see um, everything changing a little bit. I just came from the eye doctor, so my eyes are still dilated. So I look like a blurry mess right now while I'm recording. That's what it looks like to me. So if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I really can't tell where the lens is <laughs> while I'm doing this. But anyway, let's get going. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is... <sighs> Let's go ahead and just cut over to OBS so we can show you just how simple this is from the first stage. And this is mainly outputting everything to your projectors, which is what I'm going to do here. So to do this, first, you got to make sure that you have a um, second display capable GPU on your computer. Um, it doesn't really need to be... Um, a GPU as in gaming, you just need to be able to have dual monitors running on this because the second output is going to be set up for the output that is going to be going to the projector. So let's go ahead and show you how that works. Really simple, but let's go ahead and show you. Alrighty, here is our live streaming computer, which I'm going to be using in this example. And this is the one that I've recently used, and hopefully you can see this. So we have three inputs on this GTX. 750 actually excuse me this is not a gtx 750 this is a gtx 1050 <laughs> i forgot so anyway this has three inputs we have hdmi that's being used right now display port and a dvi so we actually have two other options but i'm only going to use the display port because that happens to be the cable that i'm going to be using so we're going to come out of there and currently we have this little digital converter because our projectors can't handle 1080 so we have to scale it down right now i'm connected through hdmi from our atem i'm going to be running this into our computer so it's going to literally bypass everything and it's going to be like our computer is hooked directly to our projectors one two and you can't see it, but there's another one back there. And I'm not going to threaten to drop, <laughs> tempt to drop my um, camera. So this right here, this big Kramer here, this is a super huge <laughs> glorified splitter. So I just want you all to think of it that way. Yes, I'm using VGA, but this, con this concept still works with an HDMI splitter. And I'm just using with what I got. So once we connect to this, this is going to be our second input, so let's go ahead and do that. All righty, so we're connected, as you can see, over a display port to HDMI, and our computer already detected it. All right, so this is one, and this is two. And this is funny because it's actually, oh, never mind. I was getting ready to say it's showing up fine. I forgot it's already converting. 
that quickly, I forgot. All right, let's crank the brightness up on here so y'all can see that perfectly fine. So there is our output and we're completely bypassing everything. And as you can see, there's us dragging this over here. All right, so we have everything here. Now, I'm gonna install the NDI plugin for this other computer here, and we're gonna just set up everything. All right, so I have minimize. All right, so I have the computer set up and got a second camera that's plugged in. Um, this is the Panasonic that's connected directly into the system. And then I have OBS. So we're going to come over here. Let's open up OBS. And we're going to come into our settings over here. Let me maximize this so you can see. And what we're going to do while we're doing this is we're going to do a black magic device. And we're going to pick ours and we're coming in on HDMI. We're using the DeckLink Mini recorder, which does not support the um, 5994 or 60 frames per second in 1080p. So that's why you're seeing these lines that we talked about because I'm moving too fast. Now, if I was just slightly moving, yeah, that's fine. But any fast moving you see the lines but anyway you get the whole point so now that we got this set up and we already got our scene set up now what we need to do is install the NDI scan converter on our worship extreme computer and that way we can do our effects all right so we got everything set up here now inside of our um, OBS what we need to do and let me switch it so you can actually see what I'm doing in here now we're gonna add an NDI source and we're gonna call this and it actually already has a PC here so we're gonna look at PC number three monitor number two all right as you can see we have our um, NDI output from monitor number two from Worship Extreme pulling over with our black background. And what I'm going to do is, like we did before, we're going to come in here to filters. We're going to do effects. Actually, let me switch over to this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So we're going to come over here to our PC number three input. We're gonna go to filters and we're gonna add a color key and we're gonna pick our color custom and we're just gonna click on black. And you can't see it because I have it off, but if we turn it back on now, I'll put our camera back on here. As you can see, there is our lower third right there. So this works. So now, how do we get it up on the screen now? So if, as you can see from here on the screen, we can't see anything. Now this part is super, super easy. All we're gonna do is come in here and let me turn this off so you can actually see what I'm doing. We're gonna come here into our screen on the uh, program view, the main output. We're just gonna right click and we're gonna do full screen projector and we're gonna do that to display number two. So now by doing that, you can now see that that's what's going on on the projectors there. And you can actually see if I tilt it over it's going through a splitter and it's going to all the projectors and I can guarantee you it's going to projector number three as well too that's right above us. So first let's come in here switch over to our camera so you can see us over here. Hello, hello. And now we're going to introduce the NDI output. 
and boom, there you go. There's our lower third right there. Now, if I switch this over on Worship Extreme to our scripture, it's going to be projected on there. And of course, I need to play around with the settings a little bit better. But as you can see, this is how we set this up. I'm not live streaming. I'm only recording it. And this is how everything is going out. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Um, and that is for J. Ashley Jr. 2. I hope that answers your question. Um, really simple. You just have to make sure that you're connected, your, you have a graphics card in your computer, or your computer is capable of two outputs, two display outputs. Your main one that you can see, like I have here, or, and, and not or, but then the other one is going to be connected to your HDMI splitter, and that was goes to your displays in OBS. You right click on the screen and just do a full screen projector to the other display and that's the one that's going to show up full screen on OBS on your projectors and your screens. And then you still follow the other video that we talked about how to do the NDI stuff and you do all that same setup to do this. Now I could be, I could just connect my ATEM directly to here and I would get the same results without having to use NDI. But normally if you're doing OBS, you wouldn't be doing it um, having a switcher most likely. But anyway, I hope that helps. And especially if you had a deck link linked to this, you could always have a button linked to this to where you could just press a button and you could get rid of the source. Um, bring up the lower third on command makes it a lot easier, a lot more professional. I would always recommend to get one of these stream decks if you don't have one. It makes life so much easier from a media ministry standpoint. But anyway, I hope that answers your question. And if you have any other questions that you'd like me to try and answer, leave them in the comments below. And again, my question to y'all is, do you have something like this? Or have you even attempted to use a software switcher over a traditional switcher? If you do, leave it in the comments, let us know. I love to test out some of the stuff that y'all have. If I have access to it, I love to play around with it. And if I'm here in the media booth, I might even attempt to do that here on a Sunday. And this is kind of cool. I might actually think about this if we ever need to get around our ATEM. But anyway, I hope you like this type of content. If you do, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.